Right, I've just started recording now. So you can either type your question in the chat box or you can raise your hand and I'll turn your microphone on and you can, uh, you can speak to us and ask your questions. So I'll leave it for a moment or two. And if anybody's got any questions, now's the time. Now's the time. So come on. Anybody, any questions about your writing? Questions, questions. Anybody got any questions? Obviously not. So not going to waste waste any any more time. We're going to get straight on to this then. If you've got any questions, you can ask them later if time allows. So I took five letters. I think it's five. No repeat offenders. Uh, and by that, I mean people who post letters every day expecting me to assess every letter for free because that's not happening. So only first timers are being reviewed. So I've got five letters here. Uh, the first one is Bandy or Bindi, no idea. Uh, somebody posted this, let me just put the changes on. Dear Dr. Jones, Miss Betty Johnson, well, you've not spelled that right, Miss Johnson, that should be. Well, but Miss Johnson's, so it should be the genitive case, possessive, Miss Johnson's status. Following a right total knee replacement operation, I would put, you know, just to be clear, operation and to request follow up management. Well, if you're using and, we don't need that comma. So, uh, why do you, Johnson Johansson? Well, okay. Miss Johnson Johansson. Underwent a right total knee replacement, which was now an uneventful what? So if you've got an uneventful becomes an adjective, an uneventful what? So we don't need an, we don't need that article, which was uneventful, except for a now a low hemoglobin what? Isn't it level? So if you've got an article, right, you have to have a proper noun at the end of it. So, except for low hemoglobin that needed blood transfusion. Can, can, can you count a blood transfusion? Somebody let me know. Can you count a blood transfusion? Yes or no? Somebody tell me. Somebody tell me. Yes. So, we need an article. So, but needed a blood transfusion. So, um, Bindi, you've got to watch this because we've got three article mistakes in a single sentence. So, that's not good. Right. So, which was also a, which was uneventful except for low hemoglobin that needed a blood transfusion. So, be, be careful with your articles. One day later, she was commenced on. We don't need that. Warfarin, blah, 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 her follow up investigations. Investigation, right. Is she a private detective, Miss Johnson, Miss Johansson? Is, is she a private investigator? No. So she's not investigating anything. Her follow up tests, maybe. Not investigations. She's not a private detective. Well, no, with some improvement on her hemoglobin. Some improvement, well, what? Exactly. Therefore, now there's no therefore about it. Therefore means a direct consequence of something else. You mean subsequently or simply on. There's no therefore about it. On the 6th of the 3rd, Miss Johansson, Miss Johnson, was transferred to a rehab center. Watch. Now, I don't know if these are typos that people keep leaving spaces between periods and commas. I don't know if it's a, a typo. I hope so. Don't do it in the exam. Uh, a two weeks? Two weeks. And she showed a nice progression. Would you really use nice? Would you really use nice or would you use uh, a satisfactory? Maybe. And do we need this article? Yes or no? What do you think?
Do we need this article? Somebody tell me. No. Very good. So, satisfactory progression regarding her mobility and wound healing. In light of the above, Johnson will be discharged today. And she, why are you putting this with colon? <laughs> why are you using this colon? And she needs personal home and wound care. Her current medications are, you don't, you don't need a colon. Warfare in ferrotype, obviously, the moment codeine, those will be attached. Please note she's in the department of with the representation of that. That's a local doctor, to have a look at that level. Um, local doctor. What, you mean like me? Like the one you're writing to? But aren't you writing to her local doctor? So that doesn't make sense, does it? Hmm, okay. Next one, Arpana. Uh, I'm writing to introduce the above-mentioned patients. Hmm, above-mentioned patients. Right, right. Do we need this article? Yes or no? What do you think? No. So, very common mistakes people keep making time and time. Again, uh, article use. Now, articles are one of the hardest parts of uh, English to get used to. Uh, it may not seem so, a and the, the, but so many people get them wrong. That's because there's lots of guide uh, lines. There's no fixed rules as general guidelines as to when we may use articles but uh you you, you really need to to get these right because these are one of the most basic words the most common in fact words in english articles and it can have a big impact on your grammar score if you uh consistently misuse them immediate management of their poor sucking ability both are born are shouldn't this be in the past under caesarean section now caesarean section is countable so you can use an article there or you can simply say caesarean section in general mrs katrina usually put her family name not the first name you usually put a family name mrs khan okay you only use first uh, first names with children or young Adults, such as teenagers, not with uh, adults. Mrs. Khan, the mother of two, but, uh, really, really? Well, we kind of guessed that. We kind of guessed that. Was admitted with fetal distress. Now, why Why is this now? Why does it have a, a comma? Now, she is discharged from our facility. Um, what happened? So, this isn't... Um, so she was admitted with fetal distress and now she is discharged. Um, can you not see this is kind of, of sudden? She was admitted, now she's discharged with nothing to connect the two, the two sentences. Both uh, babies had meconium aspiration on birth time. What you mean at birth? and were managed properly as opposed to what? Improperly? Well, of course it was properly managed. Besides, besides what? There is no besides. You could have put these two, uh, these two sentences into a single sentence. Both babies, blah, 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 and were managed with intravenous fluids, blah, blah, blah. There's no need to have that. You've got to watch overuse of discourse markers. Moreover, besides, furthermore, etc., we uh, we shared a post from OET a while back that spoke about uh, just this. Okay, which to be continued? Which is to be continued? Amar, the first baby, was born with bluish discoloration on his upper lower extremities, along with a low heart rate with uh, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a gap score or an app, app gap score I'm not sure what that means 
Additionally, he was treated with, so, right, so why do we have short sentence? Why do we have a short sentence here? That could have been part of the previous one. Amar, the first baby, was uh, born with bilious circulation, which is only a heart rate, and a birth weight of, etc. That could be part of the previous sentence. Uh, uh, for which he was treated. So, again, that could be part of the previous sentence. There's no need for additionally. Akbar, the second baby, has left cleft isn't, isn't it a left cleft and palate? Why is there a comma after which? For which he needs an appointment with a pediatric surgeon. And that's uh, spelt uh, wrong. His weight was two kilograms. Please, one second, and him weight every day. Highly, pre highly appreciated, really. By whom? If you've got a sign, especially for their mother. Okay. Hmm. So, okay, not too bad, but uh, a couple of grammar points, I think we could work on there. Okay, let's, this next next one. Mr. Meng, writing to request your urgent admission, evaluation and further care of Mr. Meng. Acute maniac, isn't it? Maniacal as an adjective. Maniacal episode. Initially, on the 2nd of the 3rd, 11th, Mr. Meng presented respiratory issues uh, and euphoria, or it was euphoric and deluded with a long-standing sleep disorder. Um, okay, well, he wouldn't present with the long-standing sleeping uh, a disorder. He might have mentioned that that's something that he also had, but he presented with respiratory issues, euphoria, and uh, uh, delusions. And you would have later found out upon questioning that he that he had a long-standing sleeping disorder. Subsequently, he was diagnosed with A. We don't really need the article with possible mania, and therefore. A diazepam was prescribed and investigations were ordered. Investigations, what you mean, some tests. Investigations is like a private investigator, a detective, not investigations. On review next day, Mr. Meng's condition not improved, but says the CT scan were normal. Uh, it's absolutely good program. Okay, that's, okay, okay, yeah, that's, that's good. Good use of active voice there. You can use a passive, you know, um, which you have done here. What I don't like, and examiners don't, is when people overuse passive, too much passive, every sentence, you know. You're supposed to use a mixture of sentences. Use passive when appropriate, and uh, use active when that is appropriate also. On today's review, Mr. May is more euphoric and has what is pressured speech? I'm not sure what that is. How can speech be pressured? In addition to social association fixations, well, you either have grandiose thoughts or you don't. You can't have fixations on grandiose thoughts. You have a fixation on something concrete. How can you have a fixation on a thought? It has to be something concrete for you to be fixed on to have a fixation of. You know, my diagnosis at this time is acute mania, and I put it on the supervision of the medical health team or a medical health team. I suppose it's a particular team, so we need a definite article. Uh, urgent attention, he requires a speaking psychiatrist. Okay, okay. So that's, that's not bad. Not so bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Not bad at all, in fact. Very good. Let's take a look at this next one. Uh, Space this out a little bit. Uh, okay. I'm writing to refer Mrs. Watson. Now, if you put the DOB here, you don't have to say her age. So you can put the DOB here. Uh, and we don't need a height, we don't need an underscore. 
And why does it matter that she's a receptionist? Why does that matter? And also, you don't put your period after Mr, Mrs or Ms, after the title. Don't do it. Everybody, E2 and Swoosh will tell you, you only put it if it's an abbreviation, such as Admiral, Captain or Superintendent, those kind of things. But most of this is going to be Mr, Mrs, Ms, so you don't put a period. Being discharged today, good recovery from an RTA. Okay, if the management would be valued, I suppose it would. Uh, Mr. Mrs. Watson married and has three children. Uh, so what? The significance of this is what exactly? Uh, past medical history has been revealed. Why is that passive? Revealed by whom? Who has revealed it? That doesn't make sense. Uh, you could say something like regarding her medical history, she has had COPD since 2005. But the way that this is worded is, uh, is meaningless. You know, has been revealed by whom? You, do, you wouldn't use passive. You wouldn't use present perfect. You'll probably use past perfect. Regarding her medical history, she has had COPD since 2005. Okay. Current medications. However, she has had a severe injury due to... Uh, RTA due, due to the now you can use a definite article because you previously mentioned it so when you mention so uh, just a quick point in terms of article use when you mention something for the first time you use an indefinite article when you mention it for the second third and subsequent times you use a definite article because we know to to what you are referring Okay, so definite article there. Blah, 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 blah. Doing hospitalization, blood transfusion, a blood transfusion was taken, uh, was given, don't you mean? You don't take blood for a transfusion, don't you give it? Isn't that the whole, the whole point? Blood transfusion was given, and what's compensate for her losses? Uh, so it wasn't just given because you felt like it. Okay. Uh, one week later, I mean, you know, it's kind of statingly obvious, you not think. One week later, she reported that she had uh, a fever. So she, so is this during hospitalization or is this after she was out? So I'm not sure here if this occurred while she was in hospital or she was discharged, went home and came to see you one week later it doesn't tell me here and i'm not looking uh at the notes because as i said if you have written this correctly the i shouldn't need to the reader will not have the case notes in front of them if you were to send this to a doctor they would want you to give the information so if it's not clear here it's not clear to them to the examiner so one week later, I don't know, was she in the hospital? Was she discharged? Did she come back? I have no idea. She reported that she had fever or a fever, a uh, productive cough, a productive cough, uh, associated with green sputum, put a comma along with chest pain. Now that could be just pain in a general, although her ECG was normal. Now, uh, she reported this, now, she wouldn't have said anything about her ECG, so that shouldn't be in the same sentence, yeah? Um, upon examination, her ECG was normal. Therefore, so, right, I would finish that sentence there, right? And then, uh, upon examination, her ECG was normal. And blood and sputum cultures because it's two of them were ordered. Okay, that's oh, hang on. Why is that done? That just okay. So you can see that's better. Uh, just okay. Yeah, that's so that's is better as a separate sentence now. Yeah. So you're not mixing information within 
a sentence. One week later, she reported blah, blah, blah. Upon examination, the ECG was normal and other than sputum cultures were ordered. Hospital acquired pneumonia was suspected as white chest patches were confirmed uh, by, not B, chest x ray. Thus, uh, again, you could make this part of the same sentence. There's no need to make it a separate sentence, as far as it were. Commence. Patient, possessive, it's genitive case, condition was improved or had improved, maybe is better. Uh, antibiotic, antibiotics were because, oh, sorry, uh, if it's an abstract noun, if it's an abstract, uh, well, right, reported speech uh, to answer your question, it depends when she reported. Yeah, but she had 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 the fever. But had had means it had finished. But when she came, she still had it. So it hadn't, you know. So right, right. So I have a a, a fever. She reported that she had a fever. Yeah. So, hello, doctor. I have a fever. She reported that she had a fever because it's not finished. So. Not past perfect in that instance, no. I have, she had. Okay. So patient conditions have improved, amounts were completed. Now I just changed this here. Um, if it's an abstract noun, you usually make it a plural. Okay. Antibiotics, tests, results, etc. Okay. Patient's condition had improved and bits were completed and she was advising the medication and to review what what she's got to review her GP. She's got to review him. I don't think so. Uh, and to be reviewed or to present for a review and to uh, be reviewed by or to present you know, by a GP one week later to repeat uh, a blood test. In view of the above, I believe she needs, she needs blah, 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 blah. Okay, good, good. X-ray, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Don't use an underscore, it should be a hyphen. Okay, uh, anything else? Well, I haven't got time to go through every single thing. I think I've got most of it, if not all of it. So, okay, on to the next one. Because I've only got 40 minutes. Uh, so, Bethany Taylor, I'm writing to update you on your patient, Miss Taylor's condition, as uh, she was admitted to her husband. She's recovering, she's been charged for follow up at your clinic. Okay, Mr. Taylor. Mm. First of March, Miss Taylor came to hospital requesting to be admitted because she was having a dilution, dilution on. Admission, she was agitated to receive and having thought block. Having thought block, what, thought blocking? And how can you have that? Okay. And why is that a comma if it's a new sentence and you've got a capital? Therefore, she was coming to the tablets. Is that part of the same uh, sentence? If so, why is that a capital letter? Uh, it should be uh, a lower case. Therefore, she was coming to the tablets. After... Proper nursing management, as opposed to improper nursing management, of course, it's proper. Uh, and compliance now, right, we've, we've seen this. Uh, current advice is don't use compliance, use adherence. That's what everybody says, because compliance implies an unequal doctor-patient relationship, though even though it is, obviously, you know, um, Compliant means like obey. Adherence means that they stick to it. So current advice, not to use compliance, use adherence instead. After proper management and compliance with her medication, uh, put a comma there, uh, symptoms of hallucination were ceased or simply ceased or stopped. Uh, and now she has more organized thinking and no signs of thought block or latency. Okay, that's good. I believe Miss Taylor's had a good progress. Well, 
you don't have progress, you usually make progress and you don't need an article. Uh, Mistail has made, what am I doing? What, what a tool has made good progress in terms, plural, of good insight and fair judgment. Uh, oh Christ! This this is this is one sentence. Far too long. It's a run on on sentence. Far too uh, far too long. So we've got how we've got like three clauses for now. This needs to be broken up into two sentences. Uh, substances. I would probably end it there. Uh, it is worth mentioning that Miss Terry's cocaine is a current admission regarding her current meds. Respirado. Uh, okay, okay, not so bad, not so bad. Just a little bit of grammar, and uh, that would be fine. Oh, is that the end? Oh dear. Have we done five already? Let me just check. No. Excellent, excellent. So. I'm going to open for questions. Then I'm going to open for questions. Let me uh, turn this off. Just close my window. There's some gardeners outside. Okay, okay. So, have we got any questions? Questions, questions. Now, you can either type your question, you can raise your hand, and I'll turn your microphone on. We've got about five minutes or thereabouts, five, six minutes for questions. So, do you have any? Now is the time. If you don't, I shall, I shall stop it and go because I've got other things to do this afternoon. I've got students and uh, letters to correct. Any questions? Specific questions? Come along. Type your question or raise your hand and I'll turn your microphone on. I've got 10 minutes left for questions. Anybody? Nope, right, well, that's it. You had your, uh, your chance what? Articles what? What is that, Khaled? Articles what? What about them? That's not a question. What about them? Well, if no one's got any questions, oh, we do not understand articles. Well, um, I can't really make you understand. Uh, I can explain the grammar rules to uh, you, or there's some good websites I recommend. But uh, certainly, in a couple of those uh, letters there, articles do need some attention. Uh, there's lots of videos on the internet that you can uh, you can find. I recommend, I'm going to send you, right, I'll give you a, a link. I recommend ingvid.com, excellent web site for articles. And I'm going to send you a link to a very good German site that I recommend highly for grammar and uh, explanations. I'm sending you article, yeah, I recommend this. I'll send you this uh, link. So I recommend you take a look at those, those two and uh, they should help you out. So article is quite a complex thing to speak about and I certainly cannot go through all the different usages of articles now. If anybody, if you do want to have a, a lesson, a video session on articles, we'd have to arrange that for another time because it's not easy. But I suggest that you take a look at Ingvid and at that website. I think that will sort you out. So I'm going to stop recording and I'm going to go back to the group. I've got a bit of time left before my uh, lesson starts. So I'm going to load this uh, video onto YouTube and I'll be available for questions for the next half an hour or so. Okay, I'll see you.